G'day, Chris Bowen from EFTM. Well, it's hard to believe that Nissan's famous Z nameplate has been around for almost 50 years. In 1969, it in fact debuted on a Datsun known as the 240Z. Fast forward several decades, at the LA Auto Show, the 370Z was released, and in 2009 went on sale in Australia. Since then, they've managed to sell 4,200 of them, but now Nissan's performance division, Nismo, have added their badge to the 370Z, and we're going to find out just how good it is. Okay, so what's it like to drive? We've got this eight extra kilowatts of power. It doesn't seem like a whole lot, does it? And it's not, because it feels like the old 370, to be honest. It does have a little bit of a flatter stance. The steering is quite heavy, but very direct. The ride's fairly compliant. I wouldn't say it's overly stiff, so it's probably a nice car to get around in day to day. Look, in terms of the interior, we've still got this dated technology. The infotainment system is very, very old. We have some nice little touches here, a little bit of red trim here and there, particularly on the seat. I've got the nice centering red line on the steering wheel, which you find in the base model 370Z. But in terms of when you hit the twisty stuff, like we are right now in Brisbane near Mount Glorious, and you apply a bit of extra throttle, you just can't really notice that difference, even with the modified exhaust. You can have a lot of fun with this car. It's a 3.7 litre V6, nat naturally aspirated, which is very rare in this day and age. And it's rear wheel drive, of course, which just gives you a little bit of extra play if you want to push the car to the limit, which unfortunately we can't where we're traveling because there's police everywhere. <laughs> and we wouldn't do that anyway, because here at EFTM, we always stick to the road rules. But as we approach a few corners here and there, and I've got the transmission in sports mode, and thankfully we've been given only manuals, even though a automatic version is available. It certainly does build a, a bit of momentum. And the, the, the shifting gate is actually quite easy to use. The clutch is easy. And the throttle is quite responsive. All in all, if you really want that Nismo badge on the back of your 370Z and you're prepared to pay an extra 10 grand for it, with some added styling on the outside, different wheels, different exhaust, better suspension, this may well be for you. But look, it's an aging platform. You really would need to be a purist. It's probably not one for me, but if you're a Nissan fan, where else do you go? The GTR? Now that's certainly not obtainable, unless you're a multi. Nissan hope that the 370Z Nismo model will account for 30% of sales of the 370Z, and I don't see why not. Sure, it's more expensive, but it does sit in a slightly more exclusive club. It's not as powerful as some of the pundits probably prefer, but it does have better handling, just a tad more power, a slightly different interior, and still has that delightful look about it. This is EFTM, everything for the man.